So in some recent comments, I've read that people are asking about customizing lighter rackets. And that can be a problem, guys. That can be a huge problem. So I don't have a problem customizing a racket that is about, let's say, 300 gram, 305 gram, 310 gram. And to put some lead on the tip of the head, like, like I did with this Artengo TR960 Control Tour 16 by 19, the Galmon Fields racket. So what I just did, because I felt like the racket needs more plow through, more plow through because it's a 305 gram racket, but with a heavy uh, balance to the hand, to the handle with a 315 millimeters. So for this weight, it's really, uh, I would say it's really un an underpowered racket actually. But if you put a few gram of the lead on the head, it turns out to be a perfect, perfect player's racket. So what I did is that I've put just one gram at the 12 o'clock right here. You can see that. And these are very thin stripes of real lead. Okay, real lead. No artificial uh, things like some rubber or tungsten. This is a real lead tape by Torna, made by Torna. It's a great piece of lead so it's very thin it's also uh, uh, it's very thin also in this man in this manner and this is guys one gram so half gram on each of the sides of the of the head of course and then I've added another three gram at the so where it is sorry here at the three o'clock and six o'clock okay so each of these uh each of these longer stripes is one and a half gram and it's about i think this is about like 10 centimeters long stripe but this is a different type this is the tungsten kind of rubberized uh lead tape it's not lead it's a tungsten rubberized thing that I bought on Tennis Warehouse and you can see the Tennis Warehouse, uh, the TV logo uh, right here. And it, but it works magically, it works magically. And the thing is that this frame is capable of handling these uh, three, three and one, these seven extra gram, which makes the record heavier about 312 gram overall. This record handles it really easily, so I'm, I'm confident that I can add actually a lot more weight to the record, but I don't want to. It's a 325 swing weight record now, and it is great. Maneuverable, the maneuverability is still there thanks to the balance. But the problem with the lighter records that are under 300 gram, let's say 280, is that most of these rackets, they have the balance more towards the head. So let's say 320 and up, obviously. Even some rackets that weigh 285 gram, they have the balance about 330, 335, or even let's say 340 millimeters. And actually the lighter rackets, the overall lighter rackets are more, hand, uh, are more head heavy. And if you add another, let's say five gram, 10 gram of the lead to the head, it will change quite dramatically and you will feel kind of tired. So that's the first thing that can happen if you try to customize a lighter record. There is the problem with the balance. You kind of put more balance to the head and you can end up with a record with uh, 350, 360 millimeters uh, balance which is crazy so that's why I don't really support the idea of customizing these lighter rackets but the second point which is even more uh, dangerous let's say is the is the fact that people ask me like I have a 285 gram racket and I want to add like 20 gram of lead to the racket to increase the weight up to 305 gram or make the record even heavier 
and guys this is very very dangerous also for your hand and for your overall style because the lighter rackets they have specific uh, lighter overall structure the graphite is placed on different places over all over the frame and uh, if you put too much weight on the frame on the head and it happened to me when I wanted to customize some lighter rackets also for the recreational players the racket and I mean the frame it can it cannot handle the extra the extra weight because the overall structure where the where the graphite is is placed and is positioned is too weak for the extra let's say 20 gram of lead so it can make the racket kind of twist twist in some places that don't really help the racket to to balance to to make it more uh stable but it will actually turn out to uh make the racket unstable and make the racket unpredictable so when you buy a lighter racket let's say 280 gram 285 gram racket I recommend you add really just few gram like up to five gram of the lead somewhere into the head and you always use a very thin stripes and you put the uh, long stripes on the sides uh, uh, let's say minimum of these 10 centimeters not less because if you put two two small chunks but big chunks of lead like you can easily put here at, uh, at this length you can just put here like 5 10 gram at this point but it will it will make the racket twist at these places and it will destabili this make the uh, stab stability worse so just put a very thin thin tape thin lead tape at this position and make it as long as possible let's say for this lighter rackets and also when you try to customize the tip of the head where the swing weight is the most let's say when the swing weight is the the highest just start with a very thin stripe in the length of this one this is like i don't know four maybe four centimeters and that's it and that's it and if it starts uh and if you start to feel like it's not enough just put another uh let not at the same position but continue with the let where you where you end it so where is the the free space just continue like this don't try to put more weight right away in the 12 o'clock because if you put like five gram here then the swing weight will increase dramatically like dramatically i mean it will completely change how the racket works it will completely change the plow through and you can at the end of the day you can really mess mess up the overall feel of the racket so yeah you can increase the power but you will lose control you will lose feel uh you can even lose some spin potential because the extra weight at some of these places like the tip of the head will drive the head more forward but it will uh it will work against the vertical swing so you will feel like it's good maybe for the flatter shots but for the top spin well it's not like that good so so if you want to really change a lighter racket into a proper heavier racket just buy a heavier racket that's it it doesn't make sense to make a 280 gram racket like the next pro staff it doesn't work the overall structure of the frame although the throat it is not meant to be customized in that big way so guys it is really it is really easier when you customize rackets that are actually already quite heavy so starting with 300 gram up to the let's say 320 330 
they can be customized more easily because the overall structure is more capable of handling the another extra weight and the most important thing at the end of the day is the balance so heavier rackets more balance to the hand so you can counterbalance it by adding more uh, lead to the head and then you will increase the overall stability and blow through and swing weight so really customizing tennis racket makes sense uh, when you start with the rackets that already are good quite good and capable of not the lower ranked lighter rackets it doesn't just work it doesn't really do the job just buy a heavier racket if you want a heavier racket that's it guys so yeah uh this is what i just wanted to tell you because uh, there is some um, misunderstanding in the in the, in the, um in some of these areas that let 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 is super always good for every type of racket no it is not so guys let me know in the comments what do you think about this topic <clears throat> sorry customizing a light racket the light versions <coughs> of the rackets is it good bad do you have some experience because my experience is usually bad and it is better to buy just a heavier racket if you want to play some advanced tennis that's that's it because these rackets are meant for the type of uh, uh experience and of the type of the tennis it is like when you when you try to put a uh, more massive more powerful engine to some weak uh body of a car that is uh meant just for let's say driving on the in the city let's say or or uh, just driving around the city but not for some high speed because at the end of the day the too much of the power will kind of destroy all of the all of the uh experience the maneuverability of the car the balance the stability and so on because then you need to really change the other things also in the car in the structure of the car to to make it work together so yeah guys that's it uh if you want to support my channel just you can do three things guys you can do three or you can do actually many more things it starts with subscribing to my channel then you can share my videos on some social networks platforms uh, in uh, yeah among your friends then you can that's the that's the advanced the advanced things you can support my channel is you can buy me a coffee the link is below and i will highly appreciate that and if you buy me a coffee you can leave me there a message you can leave me whatever you want there you can leave me a question but if you buy a coffee and you leave me a question there it is guaranteed that i will answer the question to you i will look at the question and i will answer it as answer it as best as i can the next thing is you can click the super thanks button you know the heart with the with the american dollar symbol in it yeah share some love with me it would be great guys and the next thing and the last thing how you can support my channel you can really benefit from it is that you can buy some merchandise some t-shirts some mugs some rugs some buttons uh, and all this stuff with the legendary roger federer on it with rafael nadal serena williams and novak djokovic these four legends in four special designs created only by myself so they are available only in my art shop anywhere else you cannot buy them because i'm the creator i'm the creator of these designs so guys thank you very much for watching and as always enjoy tennis play tennis every time every day watch tennis and don't forget to Enjoy the menu a little bit too. Bye, guys. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. That ball was on the line.